Today, I'm gonna to show you how to turn a speaker into a microphone. It's actually pretty easy and inexpensive to do. Here's how. The first thing we need to be able to do is access the speaker body. Now, in the past, I've ripped it out of the speaker housing entirely, but then I'm left needing to design and build a stand for it, whereas this one is already in a stand. So I'm just gonna cut the back out of it. <laughs> Now looking inside the speaker, we have a low frequency driver and a mid-range driver. You can think of them as bass and treble. And if you look real close, you can also see a capacitor right here. And what that does is it acts as a high pass filter in the speaker so that when signal comes in from the stereo, all the frequencies hit the low frequency driver. And then in order to get to the mid-range driver, they have to pass through the capacitor and capacitors only allow high frequencies to pass through them. And so only those mid and high range frequencies get to the mid-range driver. Now, now, for me, all I want is the low frequency driver. That's what I'm gonna use as my microphone. You could probably leave both speakers intact and your microphone would work just fine. The reason I don't wanna do that is because of potential phase issues. If I'm collecting sound at two points in space, when a sound wave hits the speaker, it could hit those two different points at slightly different times, which would cancel part of it out, and I don't want that. If I'm collecting sound from just one single point in space, then that's not a concern. So I'm gonna cut the wires leading to the mid-range driver right here at the base of the low frequency driver. But I wanna be very careful to not cut the line leading into the speaker. Now the last step is soldering, and the only additional part we need is a male XLR plug. If you look closely, each one of the pins are labeled one through three, and the most important part of this is that pin one is ground. What that means is we're gonna run a wire straight from pin one to the body of the speaker, which we can attach right there in the center in between where the two wires coming in attached to the driver already. So all I'm gonna do is strip a wire, and if you really wanna be resourceful, you can use the wire that you're gonna cut coming from here, and I'm gonna wrap it around that center hole and solder it. Now that we have the ground soldered to pin one, pins two and three are gonna be filled with the wire that's running to the speaker itself. Pin two will be positive and pin three will be negative. I believe on a home stereo, red is positive, black is negative, but I'm not entirely sure. If you get them wrong, it's not that big of a deal. It's still gonna work. So I'm just gonna clip this right here and then same thing, I'll strip these wires and solder them to pins two and three and then that's it. We've got a functioning microphone. And just like that, we've turned a speaker into a microphone. One that's great to use on low frequency sound sources like kick drums and bass guitars. Although I would say in most cases, you want to use it in conjunction with another microphone. That way you get the clarity of one microphone and the low end punch of the speaker microphone. Thanks for watching.